You guys, if you're a photographer who has lost your creativity, your will, the urge to take pictures, watch this video, watch this vlog. If you're a filmmaker or videographer who's going through the same thing, watch this. So this is my story right pre-pandemic. I put my camera down again for a little bit. I was so worn out and I've gone through this, I wanna say, three times in my whole career. So it's gonna happen to you. And that's why I'm telling you, watch this because you're gonna learn how New York City helped me find my creativity again. So yeah, New York, for me, that's a calm place. For you, it might be somewhere else. Entirely okay, but the concept is the same. If you're watching this, probably are an artist. So when we do a job, we give everything to the client. When we're empty, the job comes out empty. When we create work, it's a piece of us that we're giving people. I was tired. I was tired of giving and I wasn't getting. And I decided, you know what? Put your camera down. Go fill your tank back up. Now, coincidentally, at this time, my friend Keith Driscoll, whose name is right up here, very talented filmmaker, he was coming in from Dublin, Ireland, and he wanted to go to New York for the first time. I wanted to go to New York to escape and not work he wanted to come to new york and work and meet people but we're like hey let's actually meet for the first time because he did some work for me he edited some videos for me and let's just meet and let's just do an airbnb and let's get a space so i'm breaking this video down into like five sections okay number one you got to stop what you're doing like i said as an artist you give so much of you to the client you got to put your camera down. It seems counterproductive, right? But put your camera down. I had to do that. Now, I only brought a lot of my New York footage is with my iPhone, okay? Because I was like, I can't help but film. But I knew I was going to do a vlog on this one day. So I was filming with my iPhone and that's it. I didn't bring my camera. The first step is leave your gear at home and go somewhere else. As tempting as it is to want to take your gear because that's what you're accustomed to, as tempting as it is to collect B-roll, as tempting as it is to like try to make the most out of something, don't. Make the most out of your mental health, feeling good again and loving what you do. Because here's the thing, if you're doing this kind of work, you're already taking a great huge risk. You don't have a normal job job, right? So when you do that, you need a break. So that's the first step. This is what I did. The second part is give yourself some space and some grace. You're an artist, you're a workhorse, and this is really weird for you to go somewhere where you consider it's beautiful or inspiring and not bring your tools with you, which is your camera. But give yourself the grace to feel uncomfortable in that. Have the doubts and regrets and go, I should have brought my camera. Damn it, it's so cool here. Give yourself that allowance to rest and to fill up again full of creativity and inspiration so that's what i did in new york being that i was in the back back hills of the appalachian part of new jersey i got to walk through a lot of jersey to get to the train station and then i got to walk a lot through new york now of course i met up with some friends of course i went and i did some uh, fun stuff Use too up. But I gave myself that space and I felt guilty every single day for the first half of the week. I felt guilty that why am I not working? Why don't I have this? Now I brought my laptop with me and I tried to do a little bit of work, but the camera I put down. I just did some emails because you know, listen, I got a business. When you go to this place, whatever it is by the river, allow yourself to feel the regret of not bringing your gear. The only way out is through. You don't suppress those feelings. You feel it and you're like, yeah, a shot out this window would have been stunning. But you know what's more stunning is my mental health. A shot down the street with a sunset would have been so beautiful. But you know what's more beautiful? Someone that doesn't go crazy because they've worked so hard. So you have to favor mental health, okay? Step one, leave your gear at home and just use the original lenses that you got. Step two, give yourself some space, give yourself some grace to feel that guilt and still fight through it. All right, what's number three? Resist the urge to work. If you have your iPhone, you still want to take some pictures. I know, hypocritical, I have some B-roll here, but I wanted to make a video to inspire you guys, okay? You're going to see some beautiful things. Those beautiful things are going to be there the next time. Your mental health may not be there. The beautiful city and the sun will be there every single day. When you want to work, go walk. 
when you want to go take pictures of things, go into stores and touch things, feel things, okay? So go touch plants, go touch the textures of the environment that you're in. As crazy as that sounds, we forget. We capture things with our camera, but we don't go and we don't just touch things anymore. Feel it, be a part of the environment. Because if you're an artist, obviously you are, if you're a photographer and you're watching this channel, your job is to give all kinds of feelings and love and attention to things that we, we photograph. We have to tell its story. Well, we have to go live the story. We have to go feel it. We have to go feel it as a human being. You can't always feel it with a camera to your face. You're going to have incredible doubt, but I'm telling you, what you're doing is you're filling up your tank so that you can have many, many more years of success doing amazing photographs, amazing films, amazing videos, okay? Let's go with number four. So with New York City, you see me walking around, you see me trying new things, you see me walking down different streets. And I'll tell you what, like I sat down and I started to work a couple of days. I went to the Bauer uh, hotel and I brought my laptop and I was like, I'm gonna have a couple drinks, I'm gonna sit here and do some work and everything. I'll tell you what, that little relapse was tough for me. It took me another full day to recover from it. If you're going to commit to time off to fill up your tank, commit to it. Don't relapse. Don't go back and say, I'm good now. So that's my other thing. The fifth step is this. You feel full again. You feel inspired again and you feel like, cool, I'm ready to go. Don't. Keep going. Okay? You feel like, I can take pictures again. Don't. Keep going. Keep looking. Keep walking. Keep walking. I'm telling you, walking is one of the biggest creativity builders out there. It's underestimated. Keep walking. Walk up mountains. Walk through rivers. Walk through city streets and hallways up and down stairs. Walk, walk, walk. Put your camera down. Give yourself some grace to feel uncomfortable without a camera stuck to your hand and stuck to your face. Go visit someplace. Remove yourself from the location. Remove yourself from the ordinary things that you see. Go put yourself in a new city. Doesn't matter where, go get inspired. So I hope that this vlog kind of helped you guys out. It's more about mental health. It's more about taking care of yourselves. And next week, we're gonna go back to photography tutorials. By the way, click subscribe on this channel if any of this resonated with you. If you have any questions, or actually, if you guys have tips on mental health as an artist, as a photographer, as a filmmaker, any kind of artist, please leave those in the comments because this video, I just want you guys to share your tips on refreshing your mental health. All my links are in the description. I will see you guys next week for a new video to help uplift you as an artist, grow your photography business, and help you make more money. Thank you so much.